Can you guess what I'm doing next? The silly project I'm working on next. Hmm? Epoxy resin. Roll it, Daddy. Roll it. This stuff is gross, Laura. I like I like gay. Wrap it around. Yeah. around. Dot. I make a little head. I'm making a puppet. Yeah. Show me. Yeah. Look at how this puppet. It looks a bit like Slimer from Ghostbusters, but pink. Pans. Oh, so it's like a cooker top, like a hob for cooking on with pots and pans. Mm -hmm. Can you put one of the pots on to see what it looks like with the cooker on it? Of we could be like this. Look, look. One frying, one for pasta. Mmm, dinner time! Yum, 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 yum! Talking of dinner time, I'm making noodle soup. Talking of dinner time, I've yet again broke cutlery. This time. A rather hefty knife. It has rusted somewhat though, so it was weakened, but yeah, I've still broken a knife. A heavy duty chopping knife. Did you see that Ali had real Akuma chopsticks? Hmm? Real Akuma. Some beautiful chicken noodle soup. Yum yum. Well, this is how I spend my evenings. Surrounded by notebooks, rule books, dice and dice rolling apps with some sort of rough plan of what's going to happen in the adventure. Um, little puzzles and things that I've made up. And yeah, we're going to Dungeons and Dragons. This is Alora's first lot of schoolwork this week. Uh, just got new inks yesterday for the printer so you can print again. I've got a little bit to print myself, uh, leftover bits of Dungeons and Dragons guides and things like that. Um, yeah, here we go. So stage two of this process is I've blocked it out with some card and some sticks to give it the open mouth kind of thing. Uh, I've actually done it on the textured one instead. I'm gonna leave this one for something else. Maybe I might turn this into a, I don't know, something different. Yeah, there we go. Now to put some clay on there. There we go. It's filled in with clay, um, just solid now. And now uh, so start sculpting some bits. Oh, it's quite heavy. I'm gonna have to make a base. This wants to flop forwards because <laughs> it's got so much weight in the front of it, and it's only plastic around the edge. Yeah. This is after about half an hour sculpt. We've got ourselves a mimic and teat. I've got to smooth it a bit when it's dried. Knock off some of the little lumps. But he's looking good. Mummy's craft project for the afternoon. <laughs> Big biscuit. <laughs> there is a modicum of sunshine this afternoon. And my mate James has texted me to uh, see if we want to go skate, so I'm going to go find him and go skate for a bit. Today we have for dinner, for lunch, what is it? Scrambled snake! Scrambled snake. And also, this is the second clue as to what we're making with the resin. These are silicon dice moulds. We are going to pour our own dice. Which is your dice? Which is your dice, is it? Nah. 
You're talking with your mouth full, though. Sorry. Well, Bye. Uh, so I had a lovely skate yesterday uh, with James. I actually went to the skate park down the front and um, we uh, got a bit of a session in. I didn't learn anything particularly new, but I just felt so comfortable at the park. I felt like I properly warmed up uh, because we skated to Mal's on and back. And it's quite a trek um, when it's wet and it was a bit wet. Uh, just felt properly like loose, limber and... Shh. And um, felt loose and limber, and yeah, just comfortable in the park. Like everything felt easy, smooth, and just relaxed. Um, I did a couple of silly bales, but nothing, nothing major. Uh, but it was lovely to skate and be out in the sunshine. It was nice to be out in the fresh air for a little while, and then came back, played a wicked game of Dungeons and Dragons. Although, yeah, we we're trying to do like a music share over Zoom and it's such a weird thing. Like my volume has to be at one for them not to hear it absolutely blasting in their ears. I, I yeah, I don't get how I'm supposed to adjust the volume levels within the conversation. So I'm going to have to look at how you do that. Hi, hello everybody. Um, just been uh, spending an afternoon doing some pastels, which I haven't done in ages. Not oil pastels. I've got some oil pastels there, but those are the kind of chalky ones. Um, I wanted to do something with oil pastels as well, because I've got them and I haven't ever used them really, and they were just given to me and they've just been sitting in the drawer. So since I've got time, I'm going to do something with them. Uh, yeah, that's the map I was working on. I decided, well, I'm going to give it a different colour scheme. I'm going to do it with that. Do it these, uh, these kind of chalky pastel -y things. They're great fun. They're very fun to do blending with. Um, really good for layering. layering. And short stuff has been crazy all day. She's been having a great day. Yeah. Lots of dancing. Um, now she wants to play some Pokemon. I'm about to pour my first set of resin dice. Got my moulds. Got a leftover thing to mould the rest into. Um, we're going to go for a tropical kind of colour. We've got um, little fruits. Um, so I'm going to do a pink tropical set for Ali, hopefully. Uh, we'll see how it comes out. I'm going to mix two colours, white and a pink. Um, and go from there. very frustrating process of waiting for them to sit. Uh, go away from them. Stop looking at them. Mm. 